a highlight of ASCO GU 2021 was an increased emphasis on targeting androgen receptor signaling pathways in advanced disease. We heard interesting biomarker analysis of subgroups from the Spartan trial, looking at apalutamide in non-metastatic castrate-resistant prostate cancer. The first report out from a large phase three study, ACES, looking at apalutamide inclusion with abiraterone acetate and prednisone in metastatic castrate-resistant prostate cancer, as well as the final analysis of Titan, including apalutamide usage for the metastatic castrate-sensitive prostate cancer space all highlighting the importance of targeting androgen signaling in advanced disease. At this year's ASCO GU, one of the very exciting studies was presented by Dr. Fang, looking at men with non-metastatic castrate-resistant prostate cancer treated under the SPARTAN trial. As you'll recall, the SPARTAN trial was a phase three study comparing treatment of apalutamide with androgen deprivation therapy compared to androgen deprivation therapy with placebo. The primary endpoint for this study was met with the endpoint of metastasis-free survival increase in the apalutamide arm. Now, this particular subsequent analysis looked at long-term responders versus early progressors assessing 233 different tumor specimens collected at baseline as compared to the subsequent performance of those patients on each trial or each arm of the trial. The goal was to determine who may most benefit from inclusion of apalutamide with androgen deprivation therapy. There were three major uh, assessments that were of impact related in this study. Understanding that the tumor collection was approximately 6.7 years prior to the time of analysis. So in the long-term responders uh, to apalutamide, there were some hallmark features. The first was activation of the immune component, in particular tumor cell, uh, T cell activation, as well as decreases in vascularization, as well as low proliferative indices at baseline. So this gives some preliminary insight into which tumors may most benefit from treatment with apalutamide in the combination arm. A second major observation was uh, luminal-like tumors performing better in the combination arm. They had a more favorable metastasis-free survival in the, when apalutamide was included with androgen deprivation therapy. And these tumors, of course, expressed a more hormone-dependent-like phenotype. For basal cell tumors, which were expressed less hormone dependent like phenotypes, there was a similar benefit with apalutamide if they also showed T cell activation, indicating further study may be warranted into the role of the tumor microenvironment as regard to the, the response to apalutamide. Overall, these studies give us a great launching point in order to understand which men with non-metastatic castrate-resistant disease may most benefit from inclusion of apalutamide with androgen deprivation therapy. A very exciting presentation at this year's ASCO GU was presented by Dr. Rathkoff, which is a presentation of the ACES trial a phase three randomized placebo controlled double blind study comparing abiraterone acetate plus prednisone in combination with apalutamide as compared to abiraterone acetate and prednisone alone for patients with chemo naive metastatic castrate resistant prostate cancer. This primary endpoint of the study was met, which was uh, in, an increase in radiographic progression free survival with the combination arm. The study speaks to new positioning of apalutamide and the importance of targeting androgen receptor signaling in the chemo-naive metastatic CRPC setting. The radiographic progression-free survival was extended by approximately 7.4 months in the combination arm. Second area endpoints of overall survival were similar between arms. There were no new safety signals identified in the combination arm, although the combination was associated with an increased burden of toxicity. Quality of life assessments between the arms were comparable. So these data together put forward a new potential usage for apalutamide in this particular setting. Furthermore, there were some indications as to potential subgroups to further study for, toward the goal of personalized medicine. In the this, in this subgroup analysis, patients who were older showed evidence of visceral metastases 
or whose tumors showed features of being exquisitely androgen receptor dependent as shown by androgen receptor high like features or luminal like features showed increased benefit toward the combination arm. Overall, these studies of 982 patients uh, give us some uh, very strong confidence in terms of the use of apalutamide in the metastatic castrate resistant prostate cancer setting for chemo naive patients. Another important presentation at ASCO GU were the final results of the TITAN trial presented by Dr. Chi. As you'll recall, TITAN is a phase three study assessing apalutamide versus placebo in men with metastatic, metastatic castrate sensitive prostate cancer who are undergoing androgen deprivation therapy. There were 1,052 patients on the study randomized one to one. In the final results assessment, apalutamide was associated with a 35% reduction in death. And after adjusting for crossover in those patients, the 48% uh, reduction in death. There were similar uh, results observed across subgroups of the TITAN study, including patients with both high and low volume disease. The overall survival benefit of including apalutamide with androgen deprivation therapy for a broad spectrum of patients across castration sensitive prostate cancer is a highlight and takeaway of the, of the TITAN study, and that the favorable risk benefit for apalutamide was significant. Mm -hmm.